What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and as you guys can see by the title, I went undefeated on the 1v1 court. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay of that, some clips that I saved from it. And I actually did go 39-0, I could have went maybe 50-0 if I started at 8 o'clock on the dot. Because I did start maybe 30 or 45 minutes late, but anyway, as you can see, this guy is so lost. I'm just going to run into the paint, do a nice hop step, and turn that into a dunk. And the weird thing was that more guards pulled up on me than big man, as you can see right here. We got my boy Profice. He decided to pull up on me, and I think he instantly regretted that. Look at this. Playmaking takeover. Ankle breaker into a 360 dunk. We got him flopping. I was breaking a lot more ankles than I expected. As you can see, this next play, also an ankle breaker. Look at this. I got this guy touching the ground. Another 360 dunk. And when guards did pull up on me... I kind of messed around a little bit as you can see I went for more ankle breakers than post moves when I had takeover and look at this under the legs dunk like Aaron Gordon these guards cannot hold me I don't know how I'm beating guards off the dribble we didn't just have this guy touch the ground once but twice we got him on all fours and now we're gonna do a 360 in between the legs dunk to end the game off so like I said when I was going up against guards I was breaking their ankles more than the big man it's kind of crazy I really don't understand it but I love this player so much because I can dominate in the post and I can get ankle breakers like this. But when I was going against big men like this, I was being more serious about it. I wasn't messing around as much because big men can score a lot easier on me. As you can see, I hit the post hop shot. But what I was saying is that big men can score a lot easier on me since some of them are bigger than me or at least my size. And right here, I'm going to fake the post hop shot, spin around him and get a green layup. And I did have some elite threes and some good people pull up on me. But some of these guys were hot garbage. Look at this guy. He's actually a pure sharp. Look at the type of shot he takes. He's zigzagging and he takes such a bad shot that I block him. I get a wide open lane to the paint in between the legs dunk. These guys are just really bad. I really don't understand it. But look at this. This guy can't even guard a big man. I'm so much slower than him. He's going to give me enough space to hit a step back mid range. Look at this. He can't guard me. I don't understand. He's so much faster than me. He has much higher lateral quickness. As you can see, I'm going to take an easy layup on this guy. And this guy's defense was not it. So I'm going to take him into the post. I'm being a little more serious. Look at this. Up and under. Easy dunk. And I get takeover from that. So with takeover, you know what I got to do. So right here, I actually did try to get an ankle breaker. I didn't end up getting one. But look at this. This guy's playing me way to the right. So I'm going to hop step to the left get a wide open dunk and this next guy that pulled up on me is a brown shirt so he was so bad that I was just messing around you know I was just practicing my dribble moves right here I don't know what I was trying to do honestly but we're getting back into action I'm just gonna do a post spin on him hard and step back green I honestly don't know how I hit that but I'll definitely take it and this next guy here I got a force pickup on him he was forced to shoot the ball. I don't know why he fell. I guess he was trying to draw the foul. Right here, I'm going to drive in and hop the opposite way. So I messed him up really bad right there. I just went the opposite way he was going. And this next guy right here, he was so bad. He didn't even score once. I just 22 owed him right here really badly. And this next play, I'm going to drive right and look at this animation I get. I don't even get a good animation, but with takeover, I'm still going to make that. And on the very last play right here, I'm going to drive in. Look at this. He doesn't know what to do. Hop step, dunk, game. 22 to 0. Like I was saying, some of these people were good. Most of them were bums like that guy. He just got 22 owed. This next guy, I'm starting the game a little serious because I kind of want to take over. So I'm going to start with an easy drop step. This next player right here, he's running all the way back into the paint. I'm just going to hit him with the easy hop step. He doesn't know what he's doing. I don't know why he gave me all that space just to get into the paint to mess him up. But anyway, I beat him. This next defender, he was tall. So I had to watch what I was doing. Post hop shot. My bar flipped, but I still ended up hitting it. We got a quick 4-0 lead. And in this next possession right here, I'm not going to lie, he was kind of putting the clamps on me. He was guarding me pretty well. So I decided to spin into the paint, but I did get him jumping up and under green layup and after this shot i actually did end up turning the ball over look at this possession i get a block he shoves me and then he jellies and ends up making it so he did end up tying the game and along with that crazy play this possession is crazy look he's posting up he's trying to get a little more down low into the paint but anyway horrible shot heavily contested he gets the board he puts another shot up he misses he gets the board another heavily contested he gets the board and then i'm gonna end up fouling him he missed three times and then he got fouled. I don't know why 2K bailed him out there. He's beating me 10 to 6 at this point. I was kind of shook. But look at this. I'm just bodying him. He has his glass cleaner takeover. 
and it's not looking too good for me. He's going to take a horrible shot, but I did end up getting the rebound finally. And look at this right here. I cooked him so bad right here. I stopped my momentum. I'm going to trick him, and then I'm going to spin into the paint. And there were no more highlights that game, but I did end up beating him. And this guy right here, he almost scored on me, but I did end up blocking him, luckily. Because I missed the shot. He took it back, and I tried to get the steal. It didn't really work, but I luckily got the block at the end. And this guy right here, he got clamped so bad. I don't know what type of shot he took right there. I don't understand why people take shots like that, but I had a little bit of trouble taking it back here. I finally got it back. A little hezzy, get him to guard me on the three, poster. These guys, I don't know what they were doing, but they're really bad. Look at this. This guy's a big man taking a pull-up mid-range. I don't know what he's thinking. And this guy also gave me a lot of trouble taking it back. That was a one hard thing about this, but... It's okay because I can score on them right here. Just easy post hop shot, lightly contested. I'm going to be honest, I don't know how that wasn't heavily contested, but I'll take it. And this next play, I'm just going to drive right on him. He's a little confused because I wasn't moving at first. Another poster on his head. So we ended up beating him and finally we got another guard. And look at this. This man is falling on his butt. I get an easy reverse dunk. It's so easy to break guards ankles. I don't know why that is. But anyway, this is the last game, and my boy Anthony decided to pull up on me. I told him to join the park so he could take a screenshot of my win streak, but he actually ended up pulling up on me, and he can't guard me. Look at this. Jelly. Easy jelly. I don't know how I made that, but I'll take it. Next play, I'm going to drive to the left, do a behind the back, get him falling. Oh my gosh, and then I'm going to do a nice windmill. So I'm up 6-20 to 20 at this point, and it was actually 12 o'clock, so this guy on the left over here, he couldn't play because the spot was locked. But anyway, I'm going to do a post spin right here. Harden step back. He does foul me, and I almost make it. That was so close to going in. So I wanted to try the same thing again. Post step back, wide open mid-range, full bar, and that's cash. And that's how we ended the 39-game win streak. And 2K was trying to lag me out right there. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video. This is a screenshot of the win streak right here. We actually couldn't get the 39 game because after I won, it was past midnight. So the win streak number just disappeared. It didn't say I was on a win streak. But I did end up going for 39 games, which is actually really impressive because I was at maybe 680 wins and I got to like 720 wins. I got from Elite 1 to Elite 2. It was crazy. It was really fun. I hope they add the 1v1 courts again. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. And the next time this event is out, maybe I'll record the whole thing instead of just save certain clips like this. Maybe I'll do live com or whatever so you guys can see live reaction. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm out. Peace.